Under transform and conquer method, let's understand about balanced search trees. First of all, what is a binary tree? A binary tree is an ordered tree in which every vertex has no more than two children. Each child is designated either as a left child or a right child. This is an example of binary tree. What is a binary search tree? In a binary search tree, the number assigned to each parent node is greater than all the numbers in its left subtree and smaller than the numbers in its right subtree. This is an example of a binary search tree. Here, considering a parent node, all the elements to its left are lesser and all the elements to its right are greater. 9 is the root node. All the elements to its left are lesser than 9. All the elements to the right are greater than 9. The time taken for searching an element depends on the height. You should note that given a set of n numbers, depending on the order given, n factorial number of structures are possible in binary search tree. For example, for given elements 1, 2, 3, we can construct 3 factorial that is 6 number of trees. If the order is 3, 2, 1, insert 3 first, then 2 goes to the left because it is lesser than 3, then 1 goes to the left of 2 because it is lesser than 2. If the order is 1, 2, 3, insert 1, 2 is greater, so go right, 3 is greater than 2, so go right, 3 looks like this. If the order is 1, 3, 2, insert 1, 3 is greater than 1, go to right, 2 is greater than 1, go to right, but lesser than 3, go to left of 3. If the order is 3, 1, 2, insert 3, 1 is lesser than 3, so go left, 2 is lesser than 3, so go left, but greater than 1, so go to right of 1. If the order is 2, 3, 1 or 2, 1, 3, the tree looks like this. So we have 6 structures here. As you can see, for the same set of elements 1, 2, 3, there is no uniformity here. And you can't do anything to avoid the worst case scenario. There are two main approaches to improve binary search trees. The first one is instance simplification variety and the second one is representation change variety. In instance simplification variety, an unbalanced binary search tree is transformed into a balanced one. They are called self-balancing. There are many implementations such as the AVL tree, red-black tree, then splay trees, etc. Going further in this video, we will be discussing about the AVL tree. The second approach I mentioned was about representation change variety. It allows more than one element in a node of a search tree. So depending upon the number of elements admissible in a single node of a search tree, there are many varieties. For example, 2, 3 tree, 2, 3, 4 tree, then B tree and so on. Coming to the AVL trees. It is named after the scientists who invented it. The definition goes like this. An AVL tree is a binary search tree in which the balance factor of every node which is defined as the difference between the height of the nodes left and right subtrees is either 0 or plus 1 or minus 1. The height of the empty tree is defined as minus 1. Of course, the balance factor can also be computed as the difference between the numbers of levels rather than the height difference of the nodes left and right subtrees. You can see in this example, the figure A is an example of AVL tree. It has balance factors either 0 or minus 1 or plus 1. The figure B is a binary search tree that is not an AVL tree because it has balance factor other than 0, minus 1 or 1. 
During the insertion of a new node, if the balance factor of the avian tree is disturbed, that is, if the tree gets unbalanced, then we need to perform transformation. In other words, we need to perform rotations. A rotation in avial tree is a local transformation of its subtree rotated at a node whose balance has become either plus 2 or minus 2. If there are many such nodes, we choose the one which is nearest to the newly added node. There are four main types of rotations. One is left rotation, second one is right rotation, third one is LR, left right rotation, fourth one is RL, right left rotation. Let's see each one of them. First one is single right rotation. It involves rotating the edge connecting to the root and the left side to its right side. So this is the edge we are considering and this is the left side. We shift this to the right side. So after our rotation, 2 becomes the root node and its balance factor is 0. 1 is the left child, balance factor is 0. 3 is the right child, balance factor is 0. So now the tree is balanced. Initially, the balance factor of node 3 was plus 1. But upon adding node 1, the balance factor of 3 changed to plus 2. So after performing the single right rotation, that is R rotation, the AVL tree is now balanced. The next one is single left rotation or L rotation. It involves rotating the edge connecting to the root and its right child to the left side. So we are considering this edge connecting to the root node 1 and its right child that is 2. We rotate this part to the left side. So after left rotation, 2 becomes the root node. It goes here. 1 goes here to the left. 3 goes here to the right. And now the balance factors are 0, 0, 0. AVL tree is balanced. Initially, that is before adding 3, the balance factor of node 1 was minus 1, which was okay. But upon adding node 3, the balance factor of 1 changed to minus 2. So the balance of AVL tree was gone. So after performing left rotation, AVL tree is balanced. Next one is double left right rotation or LR rotation. There are two steps here. First one is L rotation of the left subtree of R. Then we do R rotation of the new tree rooted at R. It is performed after a new node is inserted into the right subtree of the left child of a root node. That is if this is a root node and this is the left child. And to that left child, if a right child is added, then we perform left-right rotation. Let's consider an example. There is this node called 3 and it has left child 1. Balance factors are 0 and plus 1. It is a balanced avial tree. Now I want to add a new element to the right of left child. That is here right side of the left side of the root. I add a new node here. Now the balance factors are disturbed. Balance factor of 3 is 2, 1 is minus 1, 2 is 0. Now this tree needs a transformation to become an avial tree. So we perform LR rotation here. The first step is to do L rotation of the left subtree of R. So this is the left subtree of R. We perform left rotation. That is 2 goes here, 1 comes here, 3 remains here, 2 comes here, 1 comes here. The balance factors are 0, 1 and 2. If we have to go back to the definition of left rotation, here we consider the edge connecting to the root node 1 and its right child. We rotated it to the left side so it is a left rotation now the second step we need to perform is the r rotation of the new tree rooted at r that is this is the new tree rooted at 
tree we need to perform right rotation at this tree if you have to go back to the definition of r we consider the edge connecting to the root node 3 and that's left child that is 2 we take this part and we rotate it to the right side so that gives 2 over here 3 goes to the right 1 is at the left now we can see the balance factors are 0 0 and 0 after performing l r rotation the avl tray is now balanced the next one is double right left rotation or rl rotation there are two steps here the first one is the right rotation of the right subtree of r the second one is left rotation of the new tree rooted at r it is performed after a new node is added to the left subtree of the right child of the tree whose root had a balance factor of minus 1 before adding the new node. For example, if this is a root node and it has a right child, initially it is a balanced tree. But if I add a left child to the right child of R, that is if I add a node over here, the balance gets disturbed. That is when I have to do the RL rotation. Let's consider an example. There is this node 1. This is the root node. It has a right child 3. Initially the balance factor is minus 1 here and 0 here. It is a balanced ABL tree. Now I want to insert an element over here. I add 2 here. This is the left child of 3. 3 is a right child of 1. So I am adding a left child to the right child of the root node. It creates an imbalance. The balance factors are changed to minus 2 for 1, 1 for 3, 0 for 2. Here I need to perform RL rotation. R rotation of the right subtree of the root. This is the right subtree and I need to perform right rotation. That is 2 comes here, 3 goes here, 1 is the root node, after rotating 2 comes here, 3 goes here, balance factors are minus 2, minus 1, 0. If we have to go back to the definition of our rotation, we consider the edge connecting to the root and its left child and we rotate this part to the right side. So that's what we have done. Next step is to perform L rotation of the new tree rooted at R. So this is the new tree rooted at R. If we do the left rotation of this part, that is if we consider the edge connecting to the root node 1 and its right child 2 and we rotate or turn this part to the left, 2 is here. 1 goes here, 3 is here. Balance factors are 0, 0, 0. So after performing R, L rotation, the avl tree is now balanced. You don't have to go back to the definition of each of these rotations every time. You don't have to split the steps into 2 every time. Just remember the node 2 which is added here goes up to become the root node 3 goes to the right side 1 is at the left side so 2 goes here 3 goes to the right side 1 is at the left side balance factors are 0 0 0 similarly in RL rotation in this example 2 goes up here to become the root node and 1 over here goes to the left side. So 2 goes up, 1 goes to the left side, 3 is at the right side and the balance factors are 0, 0 and 0. The AVL tree is balanced. I hope you have understood the four types of AVL tree rotations. 
Now let's see an example of balancing the AVL tree while inserting new nodes to it. I'm making use of a website called Visualco. Let's see how we go about constructing this AVL tree while balancing it. First element 5 is inserted. Balance factor is checked. It is ok. The tree is balanced. Next element 6 is greater than 5. So it goes to the right of 5. The tree is balanced. Next 8 goes to the right of 6. Balance factor of 6 is minus 1. Balance factor of parent vertex 5 is minus 2. It is not balanced. So rotate 5 to left. Now it is balanced. We did left rotation. Next 3 goes to the left of 5. Balance factor of 5 is 1. Balance factor of its parent 6 is 1. That is 2 minus 1 is 1. Now the tree is balanced. Next element is 2. It goes to the left of 3. Balance factor of 3 is 1. Balance factor of its parent 5 is 2. There is imbalance. So rotate node 5 to right. We did right rotation here. Now balance factor of 3 is 0. Minus 1 plus 1. Balance factor of 6 is 1. The tree is now balanced. Next element 4 goes to the left of 5. Balance factor of 5 is 1. Balance factor of its parent 3 is minus 1. Balance factor of its parent 6 is 2. There is an imbalance here. So rotate 3 to left. Now rotate 6 to right. We did LR rotation here. Now balance factor of parent node 5 is 0. The tree is balanced. Next element 7 goes to the left of 8. Balance factor of 8 is 1. Balance factor of its parent 6 is minus 2. There is an imbalance here. So rotate 8 to right side. Then rotate 6 to left side. We did RL rotation here. Now balance factor of 7 is 0. Balance factor of its parent 5 is 0. Tree is balanced. All the elements are inserted and the final AVL tree is constructed. Let's see another example for better understanding. 